just a warning. I am in an extremely foul mood today. I hope you are too. There is so much surrounding this extension of the Limitless Spying on American Surveillance Act. I can't even begin to explain what just occurred. An ultimate betrayal is an understatement. You've seen the vote to extend FISA surveillance authority until 2026. More Republicans voting yay than nay. But that's just the tip of the iceberg of this story. Mike Johnson couldn't get it across the finish line quick enough. Even after Donald J. Trump himself asked to assure it was killed entirely. It was illegally used against me and many others. They spied on my campaign, Donald J. Trump, but you know what? They don't care. They don't care about Donald J. Trump, and they don't care about we the people. While the FBI, let me remind you, secured a warrant to spy on Trump campaign aide Carter Page and many, many others, over 3 million others. The application was later found out to omit key information, excluding details to cut against the FBI's premise for surveillance. But that's of no consequence because at the end of the day, all that was being requested was a check and a balance. A check and a balance. A very simple thing that could have been put into this legislation, but that's not the worst part. There was a carve-out put into the legislation. Do you know what that is? Do you know what this carve-out is? Ultimate betrayal. Trump's closest allies flipped to protect their own hides, literally. And that's the story we're going to bring you here today. Right, my friends, huge favor, and I apologize, but I am not going to lay off the throttle on this story. So before I do, make sure you're still subscribed to Lisa's channel. Check below. Make sure your bell is checked. Also, if you wouldn't mind, Lisa will put a link just above. If you can click on that, subscribe to my channel. Sometimes we'll flip-flop back and forth, just depending on what story we want to cover for today. We try to divide and conquer the best we can, but sometimes these stories require full attention. Also, just a quick message from Lisa's sponsor. Well, have you heard of the CERT food diet? Well, this diet is not a restrictive diet at all. In fact, it's all about the specific foods that you should be eating. Well, you may know some big names who have actually followed this diet. One of those being mixed martial artist Conor McGregor or even world champion boxer David Hay, who credits this amazing drink to his shape. Now, the two international best-selling authors who created this diet, Glenn Matton and Aidan Gawkin, well, they have a new, even more incredible way to get these potent cert foods to all Americans. By combining them all into one revolutionary, powerful drink, so you you can get all the benefits of the diet just by drinking this right here that I have in my glass. Now, this is called the Ultimate Cert Juice. It was designed to help you lose weight, help support your overall health, and even give you energy. And by the way, it tastes absolutely amazing. Now, if you want to check it out, all you have to do is go to get cert, that's get s i r t dot com forward slash haven and take advantage of a special offer. Right now you're getting twenty dollars off this amazing product. And if you want more information on this amazing product, you can also click the link in the description box below or click that more button if you're on your cell phone. And by the way, click disclaimer, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. The product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent diseases. Individual results can vary. All right, back to the broadcast back to the ultimate betrayal shall we go house intelligence chair mark turner has noted abuses of the law <laughs> uh, noted it's well documented as a matter of fact i'm going to play a recording from andrew mccabe himself now admitting it was an abusive process oh my gosh how many years did that take but what do we do the una house goes and pushes it through anyway right they don't care well, there's a reason they don't have to care. It's that carve out we're going to get to. But the reform package spearheaded by his committee is designed to address both programs. Pro 
You should put problems, not programs. The FBI lawyer to plead guilty of falsifying documents for Carter Page FISA warrant. No check and balance. That was all that was being requested. We understand the importance of FISA. Everyone should understand there is elements of FISA that are very important. Not as it relates to people in the United States. Black Lives Matter, those who protested, and along with J6ers, they used it for everyone. They used it for Trump. They misuse it continually because anytime you give them that much power, what do they do? They misuse it. All anyone was asking to assure it was used against the bad guys, not the good guys, was a check and balance. I'm going to keep saying that over and over because that was so foreign to them that they couldn't accept it. But justice, come on now. Some of the big players way back when, they said there was never any abuses. Well, I guess that was then. This is now. Saying, quote, kill FISA. It was used illegally against my campaign. Uh, they spied on my campaign, end quote. Um, is there any truth to this? I know we're kind of going back over, is, uh, relatively speaking, some ancient history. Did you hear that? We're going back to ancient history. Is there any truth to this? Because Andrew McCabe for years has said, no, there's no truth to this. This is just Trump making it up. Oh, but he gets an answer he most certainly did not expect from Andrew McCabe. He may be referring to the FISA that was used, uh, that was obtained to surveil Carter Page. There, We now know there were many mistakes in that FISA. Those are all regrettable. Wow. Nice to admit it, finally. Maybe that would change the house. No, no, that didn't change the house's mind. Push it through. Push it through. As quick as humanly possible. We had a little bump in the road, didn't we? They stalled it for a minor minute, but it was always going to make it through, wasn't it? The FBI chief makes fresh pitch for spy program renewal and says it'd be devastating if it lapsed. Well, I guess Christopher Ray doesn't have to worry about that now. Oh, he was grilled by Senate. He was grilled by the House. But it made no difference. Now did it. 3,394,053 U.S. person queries in 2021 compared to about 1,324,000 in 2020. A one-year threefold. Documented abuses of the process. Known abuses of the process, but let's not do anything to change. Oh, wait, that's right, the House. You did change one thing, didn't you? Here's what they changed. The ultimate betrayal. Right here, Massey comes and documents it out. As a matter of fact, I'll read his post and then I'll read the print. I'm on fire today, folks. I, I am raging over this. How could anyone allow this to go through again in the form it is in? Congress gave itself a carve out. If the reauthorization of FISA 702 warrantless spying on Americans in the reauthorization of FISA 702 warrantless spying on Americans, the bill requires the FBI to notify and seek consent from Congress before violating the privacy of congressmen. So we the people are incircumstantial and make no difference whatsoever. However, however, those in Congress who were to believe that FISA was so perfect, if it is such perfect legislation, so safe from abuse and misuse, then why did you have to give yourselves a carve out? Nope, can't make it up. It's there in print. Nice, we can make it bold. We can do whatever you want to do to read the print. Requirement, the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation shall promptly notify appropriate congressional leadership of any query conducted by the Federal Bureau of Investigations using a query term that is reasonably believed to be of information of a member or identifying a member of Congress. And they shall also notify the member who is the subject of each query. That is called a carve-out of what they were so quick to have to push through that has already been proven to be abusive to we the people. It doesn't matter because they're protected. Trump asked them to kill it. They said no. Basically, two big middle fingers in the air for Trump is what they did. Yeah, I'm fired up. 
We're here to help protect Americans. These guys don't care. They're here to protect themselves. Mike Johnson and many others proved that. I could go through everything. Records show FBI spied on 3.3 million Americans without a warrant. House blocks bill to renew FISA spy program after conservative revolt, but now that is reversed now, isn't it? Marjorie Taylor Greene, she was absolutely right to be furious at Mike Johnson. Set up a private classified briefing room and inside members are being told that people are going to die if we don't pass FISA. Oh, Mike needed it so bad. Mike, why do you need this so bad? Nobody said you had to get rid of FISA. No one requested that. We wanted revisions to FISA to make it applicable to law and the Constitution of the United States. Very simple parameters. Not what Mike Johnson decided to do. It's why Marjorie Taylor Greene went unhinged, and she should have. Now some Republicans are saying reauthorization, reauthorizing FISA for two years rather than five will solve our problems. Stop kicking the can down the road. Why did they say that? Oh, let's just, this is their excuse. We're just going to do it a little bit, and then when Trump comes in, he can fix all this. Because suddenly this party is voting for is going to change their minds. Maybe just want to make sure they could spy on his campaign this time too, just like they did last time. Lauren Boebert, the Uniparty party just voted to allow the deep state to violate your Fourth Amendment rights and spy on millions of Americans for two more years. At least Luna did something. Anna Paulina Luna, thank goodness that we knew when she came aboard, she'd be another firebrand. She is. You can just wait. Jamal Bowman voted not to not to pursue this. Jamal Bowman. But I'll tell you who did on top of Mike Johnson. You cannot have a free and open society with the warrantless spying on Americans. Today, the bipartisan vote to force intelligence communities to get a warrant was lost by one vote in an effort to stop this. She states, I requested a rare procedural maneuver that will force a second vote on Monday, and she did. They can't pass it along. The bill is passed. However, they can't pass it forward until the second. It's a procedure. Maybe some miracle happens over this weekend. Maybe they changed their mind about actually representing we the people. They've thus far never shown any propensity to do that. Why would they change now? But at least she's trying something. Hopefully we can change minds. I'll be writing all 435 members over the weekend. Please help me. Talk to your reps. Have one last shot at this because it is that darn serious. And it is that darn serious. It's why, again, they wanted to oust Mike Johnson. They should. But this vote. And who voted? Who are those yay votes, you may ask, that 126 yay votes? passing at 273 to 147, giving themselves a carve out, ignoring, betraying Donald J. Trump and his request. I would not forget that if I was him. I would be going through this list every day to identify all 126 members that voted. These are all the Republicans that voted yes. Oh, there's Crenshaw, shocker, shocker. Good old Dan Crenshaw. Always just read him. Fleshman, Flood, these are all your congressmen, all of yours by state. I hope you're going to call them this weekend. I hope you're going to let them know you don't agree with what they did. There was two shocks in here for me, by the way. Mike Johnson was not one of those shocks. If I told you Scalise voted for this, would you be shocked? Because he did. Scalise voted for this. And Stefanik voted for this. My friends, this, there's a reason why I'm as upset as I am. Just go through this list. But who didn't vote for it? 59 Democrats voted no. 88 Republicans voted no. Andy Biggs voted no. Lauren Boebert voted no. Jamal Bowman voted no. Stefanik, Scalise, Mike Johnson voted yes. Do you see a problem here? I know I do. Burkett, we can keep going through. James Comer, of course, we know he would do the same thing. Matt Getz, and then everybody else. Paul Gosar, and the list goes on and on and on. At least some people believe. Although Democrats do have a different reason for this, by the way. We could go through it on a later broadcast. 
But at least some people for the moment who voted no realized that, well, we the people are more important. 86 Republicans, 86 Republicans voted yes. When Donald J. Trump asked them to vote no, he said, kill it. They gave themselves a carve out to protect themselves because they know what's wrong with this in the back of their minds. They, if it's so perfect, why did you have to exclude yourself? I want you to ask every one of those and every one of your Republican congressmen or women who voted yes, why did you give yourself a carve out? The ultimate betrayal just happened, folks. Now, I'm sure I got you fired up on your Saturday, but for this, everyone should be a little fired up. I love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless. Justice Knight, signing out.